welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire live trivia show. My name is Genoveva and I'm delighted to have you here tonight because the international variants of this well-known game show has been aired across 130 countries worldwide. And tonight, you're just 15 questions away from equally sharing our grand prize, 1,000 euros. So let's jump into the rules. As always, they're very simple. You're gonna have 15 questions with four possible options to choose from, with only one of them being the correct one. So if you manage to answer correctly in 10 seconds, you're gonna be able to take a step closer to equally split grand prize, 1,000 euros. Also, if you're not sure the correct answer, you can use one of the two lifelines, 50-50 or ask the audience. So if you choose 50-50, you're gonna be removing two of the incorrect answers away. Or if you ask the audience, you're gonna be able to see what other players are choosing for their answer. So my fingers are crossed, wish you great success. You know the rules, you know the lifelines. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, I hope everybody's ready. Let's jump into the very first question. Fingers crossed. How many zeros are there in the number 100? A, two, B, three, C, four, or D, five? As always, first question, fairly easy one. You're gonna start with a little bit easier ones, slowly, gradually getting to a little bit tougher ones. And ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer to the first question, of course, there are two zeros in number 100. So A is the correct answer and 4,150 players answering correctly. Good job, guys. Let's go forward. What is the name of Africa's highest mountain? Everest, Kilimanjaro, K2 or Mont Blanc? What do you think? Well, last seconds to get that right. All right, seems like most of you are going for one specific answer, so hopefully that's the one. And ladies and gentlemen, it is B, Kilimanjaro. Congratulations, guys, those who are answering correctly. Now, keep in mind, 10 seconds on the clock, here comes the third question. What is the first name of Mickey Mouse's girlfriend? A, Millie, B, Maddie, C, Minnie, or D, Maggie? Well, A, B, C, U, D, final seconds, guys. Pretty sure, I mean, I hope everybody gets this right. So the correct answer, of course, it's Mene. C is the right one. Good job, almost everybody answering correctly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the fourth question of the show and we wish you good luck with that. So the two tropic lines which go around the globe are named after Capricorn in which other sign of the zodiac? Leo. Taurus, Gemini, or Cancer? So, any idea about this one? Well, time is up. Answers locked in. So, only one thing to do. Let's reel the correct answer. And, ladies and gentlemen, it is D, Cancer. So, we've got 2,947 players still fighting for equally split grand prize of 1,000 euros. All right, here we go. The United Nations has its headquarters in which city? A, New York, B, Geneva, C, Paris, or D, London. Well, what about this one? A, B, C, or D? All right, time is up, guys. So let's see how many of you are still fighting for that grand prize. And the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, is A, New York. Well, it seems like it was a little bit tough one, though. But we still have 1,847 players fighting for that grand prize. And keep in mind, lifelines can be used 50-50 or ask the audience. Let's go. Sixth question. What is the name of the scale used to measure the intensity of earthquakes? A, Celsius, uh, B, Kuiper, C, Richter, or D, uh, before. What do you think? All right, guys. Maybe the lifeline was useful at this one, but I'm pretty sure you have heard this name and it's C. Richter. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like it did a little bit better than the previous one for sure. All right, now seventh question of the show. Fingers crossed. The main cathedral in the Vatican City in Rome is the Basilica of which saint? A. John, B. Peter, C. Paul, or D. Christopher? 
No last seconds, guys. Good luck. <laughs> because it's your name? <laughs> well, let's have a look. Seems like you got it, Peter. Yes, it is Peter. So 1,675 players answering correctly. B is the right one. All right, getting in the middle now. Good luck. The movie Slumdunk Millionaire is set in which country? A. India, B. Australia, uh, C. Brazil or D. Germany? Alright guys, well, pretty sure you have seen the movie that was super popular back in the day. <laughs> Alright guys, so the correct answer, of course, A. India. And actually the popular song from the film, J-Ho, it was actually originally written for another movie, but definitely suits for this one. All right, guys, let's go. What is the currency used in Mexico? A, Euro, B, Dinar, C, Peso, or D, Escudo? What is the currency used in Mexico? Well, guys, time is up. Hope you picked one of those answers. Keep in mind, if you're not sure, still have to pick something. Who knows, maybe gonna be answering correctly you know, blind picking it. And guys, the correct answer is C, Paso. Congratulations if you're still fighting for that grand prize. Uh, let's go, next question. The Spanish Civil War took place in which decade? 1950s, 1970s, 1930s, or 1910s? A, B, C, D, is that your final answer? All right, well, really intrigued to see how many of you are still into our show, guys, the correct answer. C, 1930s, great, we still have 1,419 players fighting for our equally split 1,000 euros. And if you still have those lifelines, don't forget 50-50 or ask the audience. Here comes the toughest questions. What is turmeric, animal, spice, musical style, or hat? A, B, C, a D, ladies and gentlemen. All right, uh, seems like most of you going for one specific answer. So have a, have, have a good feeling about this one. Guys, you were totally right. B is the correct answer, spice. It actually, in the Middle Ages, people used to call this spice as Indian saffron. All right, guys, 12th question. Which English short word is used in tech to describe compressing a file before emailing? A, zip, B, nip, three, uh, sorry, C, tip, or D, snip? Zip, nip, tip, snip. What do you think? Okay, I have a feeling that you might know this one as well, guys. So, let's read the right answers. Say together with me. Of course, it is zip A. So, almost everybody picking the correct one. Good job. Now, just three questions away, guys. Let's go. What is the modern name of the ancient city of Constantinople? Cairo, Venice... Istanbul or Rome? A, B, C or D? All right, guys. Well, seems like you're answering quite quickly in the which were supposed to be a little bit tougher questions. So definitely smart people over here. And guys, once again, almost everybody gets further. It is C, Istanbul. Congratulations, guys. Now just two questions away. Good luck. Who is the science officer on the Enterprise in the original Star Trek series? Scott, Uhura, Spock or McCoy? Who remembers Star Trek series? <laughs> All right, time is up, ladies and gentlemen. Locked in your answers and the correct one. It is gonna be C, Spock. So here we have 1,249 players, just one question away. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm intrigued to see how many of you are gonna be equally splitting that 1,000 euro grant prize. Let's go, the final question of the show. What is the name for the, for the very thin style of pastry often used in Greek dishes? Philo, folia, phola, or feta? Is that your final answer? All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time is here to reveal the correct answer to the final question. And it's going to be A, 
Philo. Congratulations, guys. 1,123 lucky winners equally splitting our grand prize, 1,000 euros. And who wants to be a millionaire live trivia show tonight? My, my compliments to all of you guys. Really hope you enjoy it. And as always, don't forget to check out Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Live Roulette. And see you tomorrow, same time, same place, 6 p.m. or 10 p.m. GMT time. So thank you guys once again. Have a great evening. It was my pleasure to be your host and good night.